Hi, this is how to play uh, Fallen For You by Colby Calais. Yeah, it starts with an E major chord. There's no third. So it's up here on this 7th uh, fret. There's an E, and then there's a B, and then there's another E. Open B, 2nd string, open E, 1st string. So these two strings up here, the B string and the E string, are, are what are called drones. And uh, you're going to be kind of leaving them open the whole tune and just kind of strumming them. So you'll be strumming across like this creates a really big open full sound the next chord she uses is uh, you're gonna put the second finger on the third string right behind the little finger and then you lift up that little finger E major 7 that's a D sharp so we had E no third or just E major E major 7. Okay, then you're going to take the third finger and slide it down to the seventh fret. It's an A. And form what would be an E major shape in first position here. Now, still leaving these two top strings open, but you're basically creating uh, an A chord. So this would be called A slash E or A over E. And I'm not really adding in these drone notes. Uh, it, when I say the name of the chord, they're just always in there. I could do that later if you want. But Okay, so there's the third chord. And then the third finger stays, slides back up the seventh fret. And you go back to the E major seven. And just a basic eighth note down up strum, you know. That's the verse in the chorus. Um, when she says, I, I, I'm trying not to tell you. Okay, that part there, which would be the pre-chorus, I guess. Uh, it's an A, add 2, or A, add 9, however you want to think about it. I use the third finger and the fourth finger for this. I know it looks strange, but there's a reason why. There's still open B, open E on top. Okay, next shape. It's an E major chord over a G sharp, E slash G sharp. So what you're going to do is take that little finger, slide it up to the B on the third string. The third finger here goes to the G sharp. The first finger goes to the E. The angle of the third finger will mute out the fifth string nicely, and E over G sharp. Then you're going to keep the fourth finger there as your anchor, bring it back to the A. Put the third finger back where it was on the E. Now, the second finger sitting here not doing anything is going to play an F sharp. Now, this becomes F sharp minor 11. And then she goes back to E over G sharp. And then back to the A, add 2. And then quickly to this chord. And then up to C sharp minor. So that's kind of a, probably the hardest part of the tune right there where it's uh, you hear the bass going. But you're not going to do that. That's the bass player. Um, you're going to do this. So again, the reason I'm using that fourth finger in this shape, it's an anchor. I bring it up here, and I just put down a C sharp and a G sharp and another C sharp. Open B, open E. And then there's a, a build or a climb into the chorus. So back to the F sharp minor 11. E over G sharp. A, add 2, and now this time a B chord, which is the same as the C sharp minor was, and the same as the E major, but now it's 2nd fret B, F sharp and a B, then an open B, and an open E. Okay, so let me play that pre-chorus section slowly for you.
Later on, she'll hold that C-sharp minor chord that we had. This is called the bridge of the song. And she goes, I just can't take it, or whatever the words are. And then F-sharp minor 11, A add 2, emotions raging out. That's the E over G-sharp, and then to the B. And she goes back to her the main figure. There's really not that much to it. So recap. Here, the verse in the chorus is this section. The whole thing is pretty much an eighth note down this drum. Pre-chorus. She goes the C sharp minor seven, F sharp minor eleven, A add nine, E over G sharp, and then the B build up back to the chorus. So you know it's about 120 on the metronome, um, so it's faster than when I'm playing it, obviously. But that's that's the whole gist. Okay, so uh, there's Fallen for You by Colby Calais.